Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's your favorite podcast, bitch. Word. Coming to you live, straight from South Florida. Which, which my yeah yo. Wishing the real niggas and real women out there a real ass Christmas. Real ass. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And don't you Merry motherfucking, motherfucking forget. forget. Happy Gang. new fucking year. Yes. Bitch. Gangsta. And a banana cone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Man. our rendition of some random aggressive niggas. Word. <laughs> you know, like aggressively the, wishing you a, a, a merry Christmas. The dude you know smoked cigarettes since he was twelve because he talked like this. <laughs> was having a partner, you know. How you okay. been? And that nigga, see you nigga, nigga, school, nigga, nigga, you good? Nigga, remember back in the day we used to run around the corner, right? And uh, yo, nigga, hey, remember we used to call him two twelve eleven on the back of the side of the post. Nigga, talk about back in the day. You fifteen? <laughs> what, you talk about? Like, what you mean? <laughs> nigga, th- niggas be like, no, I don't remember you. Man, you man, let me get that out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's good? That was wow. it. And we gonna start it off with your favorite TPSG Wild Ass Tangent. Back it's your boys. Word. Your favorite podcast. Your mom's favorite podcast. Word. In your mouth. Hashtag TPSG. Mm-hmm. Your boys are back for a um like a pre-holiday special. Yeah. <clears throat> Another lovely episode. Yes, you know I got you my Santa hat on representing for this uh this man that breaks yeah. in the house and leaves, Word. leaves things. Yeah. Word. And it's just, You know, we just generally, we just oh, accepted no. it like it was cool. Yeah. Oh, he's bringing something good. You it's, can come in and do whatever. <laughs> Eat my he... cookies, walk on my floor with your dirty boots. <laughs> White people, people don't get away with that. With the chimney dust fuck. <laughs> Nobody. And he said, I see going down a chimney, come out unscathed. Are you kidding me? Word. Ash he's is got... the easiest thing to get on fur. He's got Word. magic, bro. Fuck magic. With some with some, <laughs> with some toys made by elves. Right? How, how you think? How you, Niggas want to talk about the Oompa Loompa. The elves, elves been in slavery They ain't got no years. elbow grease. Word. Where they strength come they from? They got elf grease. Word. That, that's why you use those little <laughs> See, toy horsey you know things. You know the magic. Yo, but, but you know, with all that said, <laughs> like, my family really takes Christmas, like, to the heart, bro. Yeah. The really? other day, this was probably two years ago. So my nephew was two years young. He's probably like, what, 12 now, I think? He was told when I said Santa don't exist, and Pops got legit mad at me. <laughs> don't ruin them like that. Imagination and everything and blah, blah. No. I'm like, I know, but man, fuck Santa. He's 12, <laughs> not 12 yet. That, hey, no lie, I was that nigga in class in elementary. My, my dad's a roster. I was that nigga in class. Where you got a whisper? It, but I, oh, my, oh, my dad's a roster. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I was in elementary my school. My dad's a roster. <laughs> <laughs> like... We not deal with no Babylon Santa business. A Satan class, that's it. <laughs> Yo, I used to really like Santa don't exist. <gasps> what do you mean? Santa's not real. Have you ever seen him? Yeah. You like, see him at the mall. You know they pay them, right? <laughs> like right? I was I was like low key like Riley and I had the afro. Which <laughs> made it bad. Me, Huey. I said Riley, didn't I? You did. Mm. And I corrected you. I feel like yeah. both them niggas Pass are that joint over here, nigga. <laughs> both, them, both them niggas are do the same thing in the in in don't, different ways. <coughs> Wait, who kid? Ry- Riley would be like, ain't no Santa Claus, dumbass. <laughs> ain't no motherfucking Santa Claus. <laughs> Speaking cool. of the man, though, <laughs> or should I say the woman or the... The, uh... <laughs> Being. Well, what I'm trying to get at is, I read a news article <laughs> the other day. Did we? We, we, didn't, we didn't, didn't, didn't introduce ourselves. We didn't yeah, introduce we just, ourselves. we just rattled off about Christmas. Yeah. Because Golly. it's a Christmas episode. Yeah, like, 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 what kind of what kind of loosey goosey ass episode? episode is this? Nah, this is your favorite motherfucking podcast. Oh yeah, bitch. word. All right, let's start from yo. But it's your boy Icing Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka <gasps> Holy Pacaroches, hey. aka oh. Wade Bixby, aka you can always bet on black, <laughs> aka Swiss Army nigga, That's, hey. Swiss Army nigga, Swiss Army nigga. Swiss Army nigga. Swiss Army nigga. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this is slightly less musical. Flaka Zulu, aka Sir Black Style in the Third, aka Pablo Escovich, aka No More, aka Stop the Violence. No, 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 no. And it's your boy, Mr. Loud Pack Chopra, aka Wave Chappelle, aka Wavy McGrady, aka. Um, oh, sorry, BKA Skip Beardless, mm. aka DND. <laughs> um, no, Dumb sorry, aka NDN. <laughs> sorry, no do rag necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag natural waves. 
Hashtag <laughs> Wave Chappelle. AKA Dandy Shandy. Also known as Jordan Maddox. That bullshit. AKA, <laughs> AKA, AKA Heavy Hands. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, as we mentioned earlier, you know, this is the um, holiday ish episode. I try to get in the spirit. These <laughs> niggas, <laughs> these niggas dress like they just left a thrift store, you know. So they're like, you know, you fuck Christmas. This? I didn't say fuck. I hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm wearing my olive. Do you see this fine Ethiopian mixed with Moroccan silk on my body, nigga? Don't <laughs> you mean you bought it, it from a nigga that's mixed with it. Ethiopian Don't fuck with Moroccan? Nigga. You see how this bitch form fit? <laughs> with the, nigga, I look like a mob boss. I need to, I need to tuck my shirt in. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Merry Christmas, y'all. Happy um Happy New Year and all that. By the time you hear this, you know it'll probably be Christmas. Right. And um probably maybe. No, it's not gonna be Christmas nah, yet. Dude. But we we'll still. Merry by Christmas. the time they hear the next episode, Christmas would have passed. So yes, this would be the episode which Christmas. Murakuma. Murakuma. Very cribbing, bitch. So. <laughs> <laughs> and so, spe- so off off the rippity tippity. The so <laughs> the rip. I heard, I heard some um about a, a gender neutral Santa. Say that again. A gender neutral Santa. A gender neutral um Santa. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I saw the article. They took they took polls. It was like, uh, what if we made Santa black? You know, this many people voted. What if we made Santa a woman? Hmm. This many people voted. What if we made Santa gender neutral? And it's not even that they got a lot of votes. It just got more votes than they thought they would for gender neutral. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Being that Santa ain't real, we can do whatever we want with it. Yeah, he, he he's not in my Bible. He's not in any books or anything. So wait, so wait. Doesn't so matter. Wait. No, so Santa's so what you're so what you're it. telling me is, it would be easier in America okay. for Santa to be gender neutral. Meaning, like we have like a pat situation for Santa. If, <laughs> yeah, um, pat. Here we go um, with this. If y'all remember, than it is for Santa to be a black man. Yeah. 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 Then, well, that's why and, they had to. Oh, about there, to flip is, it there is some origins that Santa is black, but I haven't fact checked yet. So only a black oh. man gonna get that much for nothing. Oh, <laughs> good point. I have. I. I also. No, have... a black man gonna do that much work. Every house in the world. Every house in the world. Christmas nigga, Eve. He had to be Jamaican. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that nigga had a uh, portal gun or something. <laughs> Santa was Saint, Saint, Saint Nicholas. <gasps> oh shit! Saint Nicholas. Rick or Claus. Ooh, Santa Claus is based. Yes, off, that much off I know, of yeah. May. I have to. I have to look this up again. But may be a black man. So no yes, surprise. Santa is black. Go figure. Well, I mean, the name Nicholas derives from the word Nicholas. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny if you're right, but you just said it in the wrong language. Nicholas. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, honestly, it like, sounds like it makes sense. So I'm gonna run with it. I'm talking shit. I'm like uh, like, <laughs> like I, I don't know. I just I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't like know how to feel. Know. Like like, for, like you know, obviously I don't believe in Santa or anything. Mm. And I'm still on the fence about telling my kids about Santa. Mm-hmm. You know, if the Lord bless me with kids. Let them find out at school. No, <laughs> I, I, no. Going, what's Santa? You know, but it all Santa is somebody on. don't give a fuck about you, me, or any other black man in this world, young man. <laughs> you got to be your own Santa. What? You got to own a reindeer farm. Anyway, <laughs> but um, I'm still on the fence about telling my kids about it. But nah. if yeah, any, if anybody to. to tell them, I'd rather be me. Honestly, because kids are just you know we about to segue shatter your heart. <laughs> we about to tangent this bitch into some parenting classes. But <laughs> the best thing you could do is in, be the first person to introduce any new idea to your kids. True, that's true. Because they learned it at their foundation. That's mm-hmm. true. That's facts. And it's all about how you drinking, know, smoking, all that, all that, all that. No, that's absolutely right. I mean, Sex. I'm not a parent, but that sounds like it makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know, like from the anytime they think it. about it, it'll come from a grounded place rather than mm-hmm. some random ass shit that they right. earned. It. Yeah, they're not but influenced just, by everything around them. That is hard to do, though, in in the world that we live in, where there's so much um, media, there's so much outlet, there's so much so much ways right, to get You don't know what your grabbing. child's gonna get exposed yeah. to at yeah. what age. Like, yeah. at least you had a little more control over it. Yeah, back little, in the day, not, yeah. not even that long ago. Yeah, yeah, our parents ago, you know definitely had more. You nigga, you had to go buy a DVD to see some shit. Now you can see some shit by accident just by browsing the internet. Yeah, literally. It like there's so many streaming services on every type of device for every type of medium, mm-hmm. whether it be, you know, movies, TV shows, anime, mm-hmm. 
mm. um, documentaries. It's, it's, there's there's a channel for everyone. There's a kid section in Netflix. Mm. Right. I went in there. I had to leave. It was too bright it's and a whole fuzzy. Lot. Right. It's a whole lot That's how they in pull in you. It. It's, you basically just took an it's acid scrolling. trip. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that <clears throat> I do agree with that. That does. That is a good place to look for high movies though. Yes. In the kid section? Yes. Yeah. Those duh, those like kid movies though, are always great to watch duh, when you're high. Bro, they're hilarious, bro. I guess it is they're would it be would be crazy way funny. funny. Cuz you know what they're made for they're 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 made for two people. They're made <laughs> like the kids will laugh at the the little bullshit slapstick uh-huh. whatever the fuck, right? Yeah. But they put Jokes in there for the parents who got to bring their kids. Dog, that shit, them shit's hell. Absolutely. Yeah. Sidebar, not to go too far away from Christmas, but Cat in the Hat is a great example. Yeah. Right. That shit had some <laughs> shit in it. Word. We'll have another episode about that one later. Word. But um, yeah, gender neutral Santa. I mean, honestly, like a like I seen Black said, do whatever you want with him. He's a yeah, fictional fuck character. That well. Damn. And you know what? Take right. the Easter Bunny too, because that has nothing to do with the resurrection. But let me not go deeper than that. <laughs> Yo, Yo, but I just, I, I don't know. If, if, if I'm real, I just, I feel the, a way that that's the conversation. That, <clears throat> before I was right. trying to find a way to say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like how, like that, you know, it, it's coming from, and, 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 and we were talking about this. Chappelle expressed it the, the, the best way I've heard it. Yeah, it, it, it's it, it comes from a, a privileged place. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like like uh, like you said, it's only an issue because rich white men want to do it. Word. So yeah. it's like uh, it's like gender neutrality is okay, I guess. Remember, he was like, "When's the last well, time we, a nigga gave a fuck about my feelings? My feelings." <laughs> you might need to bring up the whole gender <laughs> neutrality thing to sort of deflect from, you know, black or minorities. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Like, That's a big add deflect something else to the argument. Add yeah. To the well, what about her? Oh, yeah. I hate a, I hate a there, there matter are, of fact. What about ass motherfucker? And not to discredit the genuine advocates. No, of course not. But if you if you're a genuine advocate and you see an opportunity to jump on this chance for awareness, you're gonna jump on it. Yeah. So then you don't. If know you're responsible, you don't know who's fucking around. That's true. Mm-hmm. Trying to steal the conversation. Mm-hmm. For real. Like I, I I don't need to see articles about and how and general how, Lucha, Santa and Cardi B and Offset and how much easier the conversation <laughs> was able to be had. You know what I'm saying? I've heard like, enough about Cardi B and Offset. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. much so that I forgot to put as a topic for the for the podcast. They get divorced, right? Well, that's what Cardi B said. Or they came, she came back around. I don't know what it is, she but I just really post. think it's a publicity stunt. I the entire I thing is a sham. Is. You know what I hate? The fact that I in no way, like, paid attention to it, like, intentionally. <laughs> exactly. Wait, intentionally. And the fact that and the fact that I know so much of some people' business that I don't, I had no interest in knowing. That. I was like, why? I yeah, you scroll through. Why did I need to know that about? Word. I'm about to ask y'all something real. Yeah, and, far. Ju- and just conversations I'm hearing with people. I'm like, okay, like, all right, why? I don't know. I'm about to ask y'all some real out there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Y'all know the rumors about like rappers being cloned and shit. Yeah. They say Kodak got cloned. They say Gucci. They, they say Gucci got cloned. They even say Boogie Eminem. Got they cloned. said Eminem got cloned. Who? Butcher? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, them cloned the eye. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I know. Well, um, and then they were like, um, who the fuck we talking about? Cardi B. Cardi B. <laughs> so, wow. you remember how Offset had that accident in his new... Yeah. Book, and he got fucked up? Yeah. Wasn't he in a coma or something? I think he was. They were saying that he actually died, and then they cloned him. Or they had a oh, clone wow. of him. And and I'm like... And he's malfunctioning and now? Mal- That's what yeah, happening? Yeah, he's doing some weird shit. But I'm like, yeah, the internet will say anything. <laughs> All right, well, here, here's, my, here's my theory about that. Remember I said it's a microwave generation, right? Mm-hmm. Everything, Everybody wants everything hot and ready right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And back when we were, you know, now growing let's not up. Stay in, too long no, I'm not growing up. I'm talking, mm-hmm. speak as quickly as I can. Yeah, growing yeah. up in hip hop, shit dragged. Right. Bobby Whitney had their shit, but that shit dragged Drag. out for years. Now it's like boop, boop. married, 
baby divorce drama. It's just back, back, back. Because that's what this generation needs. They, their, their attention spans ADD. are this big. Yeah. It's ADD, ADHD, ADHD. Yeah, For yeah. real, man. That's yeah. why all that shit happens so bop. I'm like, no, I'm not. I know I'm not the only one that noticed this happening so fucking quick. Everything's yeah. happening quickly. Technology and everything, everything else is moving fast yeah. at the same time. Trying to give in to the demand of the ADD. Absolutely. So, They'd uh, rather feed into it than fix it, but yeah, I feel like they set a standard. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like the whole relationship have kind of happened like that too. Whereas I kind of remember hearing about them being together and hearing okay. about them getting married almost the same time. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, their relationship right. happened very quickly. So I not mean, celebrities still jumped into that shit back then. But they, yeah, yeah, they still jumped into it. But still didn't last long back then. Yeah. I still because they're maybe running they off last, a, they're running off a high moments, bro. Yeah, right. And they're living a very fast life in that industry. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they're at parties and socials and dinners, and they're getting fucked up every time they go to these events. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they a got kids them. too. A lot of them. And so and they got nannies. Yeah, but um, and, let's not dive too deep into the oh yeah it's, track of because that was another what? celebrity gossip. Yeah, TPSG. Well, sure, yeah. Wild ass tension. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Nah, let's bring that energy up though, man. Like seriously though. What? All right. So, but uh, some speaking of someone with possible ADD. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Kelly. <laughs> oh nah. yes. Yo, that man oh. definitely is the king of this era of. Um, Information and at this point, I think yeah, Snapchat, he's using it very well. He was a king. Of, he's a king of Snapchat, dog. I don't know, man. I think Miami niggas are like, yeah. like Rick, Rick Ross. Snapchat king is live Snapchat. recording yeah. everybody. Like, uh, and it's a Miami thing. But mm. three hundred five. You know, not to take it, not to take off the <laughs> fact that Buju, yes, a moment of praise. The legendary, <laughs> the legendary of praise. Hold up, the bird. legendary <laughs> over the hills and valleys. Yes. Right. To Brownings. Yeah. <laughs> What's your band To song? getting to paid, not played. To getting <laughs> paid, not played. Pushing escalators at Rocky oh, Prada. Yo, yo. yo. So. Oh, my new kitchen. Remember, <laughs> remember, um, remember Kazar? I'm, I'm yeah, Morpheus. Morpheus. What? Kazar, Morpheus, Napster, Whenever LimeWire. <laughs> Sorry. <that> was, <laughs> this is such a high conversation right now. <laughs> Budget Banton, Paid Not Played, was the first song you ever downloaded. I oh, ever downloaded. Which is probably bad. It's like, yay, I pirated your song first. But, you know, it just, but, it just came nah, to mind. That. Like, <laughs> no, but shout out you know, to I, the... That beat was hard, though. You know what I'm saying? But that whole song was hard. But you, you're glad I did that. Because that's why we got streaming now. Because niggas like me was robbing. So, bam, there you go. Exactly. Yo, you know we the ones said. we push the culture, nigga. Right. Right. <laughs> we push the culture. We push the culture. That might be our new catchphrase. We push the fucking culture. Word. But yeah. yeah, shout out to the lion, Buja Bantan. Yo, free yo, from Babylon. Free from Babylon. Free. Even though he probably was fucking with the coke. But hey, we ain't gonna say all that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't nah, like to nah, speculate it because I, I don't know like too deep about it. I don't bro. know. Regardless, He's free, man. Yo, regardless, look, though, I don't know. I don't care. I wanted him out of prison the moment he was in prison. Really? Right? That regardless, man. Regardless, they took away in, too much of that man's life, bro. He probably he, regardless whatever he did, mm. I'm sure he did way more positive for society than the negative. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So, and I don't. I mean, we're that's, not the I, judges. I, that's but, probably that's probably true about most people in prison. Most artists about, like Bojo. When you think yeah. about who, it. who give you a message, who mm. are who are introspective. And teach you things about life, yeah. And and open your eyes up to things you might not have thought about before. Mm. They they gonna and they gonna put you down, man. Yeah, that's what his you know that's what his music is. And the conspiracy theory among you know the older head older Jamaicans mm. is that once he made Boom Bye Bye, mm. they oh, said it was, it was after him. <laughs> I, it was I, after he was on the him. list, bro. Yes, yeah, so he, yeah. he got put on that list. He was, they were after yeah. him, dog. And you think you think it would be over because they made him pay back then. Oh yeah, like they they fucked up his money. Oh, yeah, he yeah. couldn't do oh, couldn't get visas, but yo, he still it's couldn't crazy. get visas from all into two thousand something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's very crazy. Recent, though, right? And how I know what you said is true about him is, you know, J- Jamaica Jamaica is not a, a country that is gonna fuck with you for like a fake reason. Nah. You know what I'm saying? They'll let you they know, fuck like, with you, they fuck with you. like, and they love. 
Trinidad love Bojo. Virgin, everyone love him. So you know it's, it's, it's all genuine. You know word, what I'm saying? Word, word. They don't lie. Word. If that country don't fuck with you, you will know. Yeah. Trust me. Quickly. <laughs> Very quickly. But the fact that they embraced him once he got released. Mm. Um, and you know he wasn't rude about it. Like in the video, he was like, you know, I think he said he let it stay, but he said, you know, I got a touch road. I got to see my daughter mm. and everything. Mm. And, you know, the, you know, you, he reunited with his daughter. And like, it's just, you know, mm. it's you wouldn't understand. Word, <laughs> word. Trust me. Word. So, but what? Why we brought up Khaled before? Well, the whole reason we even brought him up. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> the, in, the internet has been a buzz. It has been a buzz. And mm-hmm. there's a whole lot of talk about uh, Khaled's motives and his Inter- whatever incentives he may think he may get out of this. So basically mm. trying to call the nigga a culture vulture. Word. And people and, um, feel a way about Bojo yeah, working with Khaled and, as opposed to, I don't know, yeah, anybody else. Yeah. Like just f- they feel he's you know, just feeding off the hype of Bojo being released, mm. which I believe has truth to it, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I think the intention of it... I mean, Bojo is going to feed off the hype of Bojo being mm-hmm. I mean, Right? It's, it's, yeah. Well, we don't know what Bojo's going to do. Yeah, but, it, but I mean, in, but, in, not, well, not, in, in, not, not necessarily feed, but benefit from, mm-hmm. you know. I guess I'm speaking from the standpoint of people's, uh, I think, yeah, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, the general... The central conversation right now about DJ Khaled is that he is culture vulturing. I, you know, coming from a standpoint of yeah. I'm gonna make some money off of this culture that's hot right now yeah, and the hype around this particular situation yeah. in this culture because everybody's feeding off it. Remember, they tried to change, you know, the dance hall flip in other country. You know, oh, yeah, when yeah, other yeah, people yeah. were making dance hall, they were calling it world dance music and they were trying to make that. Kick no, off I think they call it Island dance. House or some shit. Yeah, yeah. There were there were several things that they were like trying yo. to kick it to you know change it to and it's like nah, bro. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> and uh, so they're trying to say that Khaled is within that vein, but like there's footage of Khaled. Shout out to Island Three Sixty. Um, they posted a uh, footage of Khaled in the '90s playing like dubs yeah. in Jamaica. Yeah, I mean, and, um, remember he was, he was in, in Top Shot. Yeah, he was exactly. In Shots, yeah, exactly. I mean, he's, he's, he's 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 been, been involved in the culture in some fashion, you, or at least shown a uh, actual interest in it. No, you know what for, it is for a long time. But I mean, back when he was DJing ninety nine jams and shit. Where, yeah, which is true, but you know. That how do you feel? That how do you itself, feel, Sir Black Stallion? Yes, <laughs> that in itself doesn't necessarily mean he's not right. doing what people are saying. But I feel like, you know, um, I feel like the fact that he's been around and Butcher Trolls to work with him, I feel like there might be a, there's probably a relationship there. I feel like what what I people mean, he are, has- what people are mainly scared of is the first Butcher tunes after so long of waiting is. Are they're gonna, gonna, gonna have <laughs> DJ Khaled all <laughs> over. Oh, yeah. We're the best. You know what I'm saying? Have his you know staples all over the song, and that's up. I, I that's up to Bojo. Yeah, I, and I feel that I definitely don't want to <laughs> hear that new voice at all. Like keep your <laughs> keep your role purely at production. Like I no, yeah. I don't want to hear you whisper on that track. No, <laughs> <laughs> <But, laughs> what? No, none of that. Let let people forget you was in the room. No, no, you free. He has to say another one because that's his. He's gonna say that's his one. DJ. That's thing. his tag. Mm. Unless he makes up a new tag for this album, then please, DJ Khaled, you listen to this. Hmm. I I don't have an issue because I know it's genuine with him. The the only thing with Khaled, he's so fucking goofy. Yeah, he's such so a fucking funny. loser. You see this <laughs> he's such a fucking you goofball see this that y'all crazy. like y'all can't look past his goofballness. Mm. And understand that he genuinely loves the culture, cause this is not the first at, time he worked with reggae artists or yeah. sample reggae at, or anything. At, at, at the end of the day, he's good at what he does. He's Simon Movado, yeah, yeah. he's Simon Movado. And um, I think it was another artist named Magazine well, or some, something. Remember some, him? Yeah. Some would say, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Some some would say that wasn't a good um, decision on Movado's part. That that didn't turn out as well for Movado. I didn't believe it was a good decision. I agree. Yeah. Well, we'll, you know, we'll see how well, it pans Well, it might have gotten some more, but you know what? It did expose him. Yeah. We we just don't know what the contract was like. like Because mm-hmm. his oh, music what, did, what, what's, what? felt like his music suffered a little bit after, though. Yeah, I feel like, especially I would, content. Yeah, it it like, wasn't as popping as like a Movado track usually is. Yeah, I feel, no, I, the, I feel like the content, like, 
it slowed down. Yeah, it could be that. But back to Khaled. Like I said, I don't, I don't think he's a culture vulture. He's too... No offense to Khaled. Like, like, you're right. He is feeding off the budget hype because at the end of the day, he's still a businessman. He still has to make his, you know, his, his money and everything. So there is that intention, but that's not 100% the intention. And I guarantee you, he was going to work with Budger before he got locked up. I could bet a million dollars on that. You Probably. know what I'm saying? Because Khaled knows everybody. He's just, you know, mm-hmm. he's just doing it right when oh. he came out. So it's just, cl- you know what I'm he saying? He was always at best but, of the best. But what, yeah. you, but what you think What you think is going to happen? I think he's going to... You think... Because <clears throat> I think, I think Khaled is just a first up. I think f- Butch is about to make his rounds, bro. Oh no, no, I yeah, I said that um when he got released, like oh, he has okay. tons of features to do. Oh yeah, that's why you say he got a touch road. You like, think he sounds like, extra old. That probably, but that you see how Ghostface Killer sound now? Yeah, you can tell they age. They age. That, that's what it is. You can but tell that, they but age. That add, but that for for the music he does, yeah, that actually it'll be adds better. A, yeah, adds character. Or, yeah. That extra, that 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 greediness, extra raspiness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where well, you? I mean, well, first of all, I got all the faith in Bush. Just do it, deliver it. Regardless, the album's gonna yeah. be dope. It doesn't matter who hosts it. If DJ Khaled hosts it, hey, like Flock of Zulu said, like limit the screaming to zero. <laughs> all I want to hear is another one. If that's your tag, and please, I'll try to say this earlier. Please, Mister Khaled, do yeah. not. Please do not make up a tag with terrible patois. Oh God! Please don't. Please don't do that terrible patois. Like you oh, say, God. the King's Day or something. Oh no! Or don't please. Every Just time use I, your hear, old tag. I wanna take. I wanna slap him in the forehead with a slipper. <laughs> like no. Yeah. Stop it. But shout out Khaled, man. I believe you. You just Word. made a couple dope albums, a couple Word. compilation albums. Word. He did I mean, Nas justice. Music amazing. He Rep did a lot of people buddy. justice with damn his it, tapes. Stop with a damn. But like when it comes to budget, like you know, tapered back a bit. <laughs> tapered. <laughs> <Word>. But yes. <laughs> but uh. Um, but yeah. So bringing it back to that, you know, we are all extremely excited yes. to see what Budger is gonna do. Word. Um, what he's gonna come out with. We are all also <clears throat> we are a little bit excited. adamant to see what's going to happen with Khaled and how much he is going to be involved in everything. True. Um, so, <laughs> moving and right Jamaica along. Right now. <laughs> right now. Moving right a motherfucking long in this bitch. Mm-hmm. We got your boy. Another nigga that's huge in social media, right? Who's Bro. that? He, how did he come onto the scene in IG... And out of nowhere become the biggest thing. What your man Will Smith, dog. Oh, yeah. oh. Fresh Pinch himself, dog. He so, came, yeah, he this, came so out of IG was, and out of nowhere just yeah. shut the whole game down. See, it's jump like when LeBron the came into the NBA. You ain't see his, his, his first post? What was his first post? This nigga said, All right, I'm gonna get Instagram. This nigga went out and got equipment. Wow. Like it was like oh I'm gonna do Instagram I'm gonna do like, shit for real. Yeah, for real. Yeah. On some for real Z. And he, he's just trying to show us like this is how you do this, this shit. Is how you this is how you like, yeah, I'm Will like, Smith, and I'm gonna get views based off that. But yeah. you don't half ass <laughs> nothing, bro. He don't. Not so a like, damn. He don't. I bet. I bet. Like, except some of his rhymes. Some, so, hell. <laughs> except what? <laughs> except some of his rhymes. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, of course. But Will Smith was in that transition Nas period. Bro, welcome to Miami. To where <laughs> I feel like you know people. Rappers had that duh, 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 flow, you know, yeah. and then like going into the modern. Will Smith can rap. Yeah. No, no, he like, can. He, he, yeah. He can. He has the skill to do so. Yes. And he's so much himself when he raps. Yeah. Like, like he does literally it the same person. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm That's saying? That's probably why he changed his name to Will Smith, rapping. Because, because it's shorter, he, the easier. He to raps with. like how he talks. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Alf. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Wait. But why do we? Why do so? Yeah. <laughs> why do we bring up Will Smith? And your boy Will Smith has been announced as the genie. No, no, he was already announced. Yeah, oh, yeah we spoke they about revealed it last how he looked. Oh, we did. Yeah. Oh, they we showed talk- how he looked. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about it last episode. Yeah, we no, talked about it like two it episodes ago. Right? Nigga, I yeah. smoked a lot <laughs> today. <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, they revealed you know how he looks and everything and. It's not that bad, <laughs> but it's different because it's live action. Because you know, sometimes it's hard to let me see it. translate. You know, we're cartoon. Gonna get, we're gonna get a, a, into, a live reaction into live action, but um, you know, 
People they they people roasted are, them basically. Yeah, people are quick to judge, man. <laughs> they roasted them. But that, that's typical judge. of Americans, man. They don't oh. really they oh, don't yeah. see a vision till it's And then you have your typical complete. trollers. Yeah, yeah. That's it right there. <laughs> Yo, he just looks like goofy he, ass Will Smith. He that's look, a genie. He looked like he, he looked like. like Goro on a Mortal Kombat yeah. remake. Yeah. Oh shit, he kind of does look like Goro. Yeah. <laughs> you four on best. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's, but, hey, but I trust his I like humor it. though. Oh, he's gonna be good. Will Smith is just funny off rip. You he's know, what be, and he's I been for all these years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I trust that he's gonna put his. Proper gonna, humor foot down. And then the effects <laughs> right they're going to add to his voice. Exactly. And then, you know, we don't know how they're going to flip this. Let's see what they're going to do. And also, oh, do you know about the conspiracy theory? Okay. I know I drop a lot of these little nuggets in here. <laughs> nuggets. That's um, gross. About Sinbad. Do you remember a movie where Sinbad played a genie? Yes or no? Yeah. yeah, you're no. wrong. It doesn't no, fucking exist. It was, it was, it was that's the whole Shaq. point. It was Shaq. It brought it exactly. Shaq was Shazam. It was Shazam. Sinbad was in a movie. What's the name of the movie? It, it doesn't was, exist. It was people. Wait, it's called the Mandela. Check. The, it's no, called the Mandela effect, where you no, just accept something as no, truth and nobody ever questions no, it. No, no, we the, just the movie, we just thought Sinbad. You no, can't Shaq find it. Like, you can't find it. I think the movie, but it brought up that conspiracy theory. I think the movie because he looks just like it. I think the movie was actually Sinbad. I no, guess. his name is Sinbad. No, there's a movie called Sinbad. That he the just, Pirate. Yes. That's all the Sinbad. That's not a genie. But it's a, it's a similar look. That's no, the movie I thought no, about. No, he was never in the movie with a genie. People just accepted it as truth, but... I never heard that. Yeah, it, it's crazy. Oh. I got a whole list of them. Next time on TV... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But um, yeah, I trust you know he's, he's going to put his good humor foot down and you know do this role justice. And make, you know, R.I.P. Robin Williams proud. Hopefully. True. You know True. what I'm saying? But it's a whole different ballgame with like voice acting. But, but then... Yeah. I mean, it's going to be like 85% CGI. 15% is going to be his torso on his head. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Everything else is going to be CGI. <laughs> For that real. first thing will be live, though. Without, yeah, yeah, when he comes collapsing. out the... Yeah. Oh, yo, you they gotta, gotta do, do that, exactly Justin, like because that shit was live as a cartoon. Yeah. Right. By was. the way, if you remember Dramatics Top 5, Aladdin is my number one Disney movie ever. Bro, that nigga the beginning was. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Lion King is second, of course. Like, I remember hearing that scream. He was like, ah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> Niggas getting murked for real, for real. <laughs> and remember the cables <laughs> talking to him and shit? Yeah, yeah. that shit was scary as fuck. Nigga, I was hit under my sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I watch the beginning of Aladdin, I'll be like, oh, I gotta get this. Yeah, with the voice. <laughs> of, you know. uh, that shit's scary. <laughs> nah, that shit was wild. But um, yeah, they gotta do it justice, man. They will. But they did Jungle Book justice, right? They did. That was a good movie. Uh, Al- oh, not Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah, they did do that justice. I'm- you know, I never saw that. Was it? Would, uh, it wasn't was named that. It was, it was like a, one. yeah, it was yeah. a dark one, yeah. Um, I didn't watch Beauty and Beast. I heard it was terrible. I watched it. Yeah. Would you want to see a Snow White and Seven Doors live action? I don't care. But I, I didn't mean, really watch the original Snow White like that, so... Yeah, I probably watched it once because, you know, you, you gotta know watch it. It's, it's, it's one of those, like, you know... Didn't yeah. they redo Cinderella? You, you, might, you might see it on a date. Huh? <laughs> they redid Little Mermaid the other day, but was it actually done by Disney? I don't think they so. They did? Yeah, they did. It came out? I heard it was good, though. Oh, they did Snow White and the Huntsman. Huntsman. Yeah, that's, that's not Disney, did. though. Yeah, I know. But that's like um, a... Extreme look at it type thing. Extreme Snow White. <clears throat> she has a fucking sword now. She's <laughs> killing motherfuckers. <laughs> seven <laughs> doors, seven bodies. Killing bad guys. John Wick is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but Snow <yes>. White. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Gender and um, like we said in the last podcast, <laughs> like we said in the last podcast, sorry, Lion King is not live action. It's just CGI. Great CGI, fantastic CGI. Mm-hmm. Honestly, so, I'm very, I'm very for, I'm, I'm looking forward to um hearing Seth Rogen as Pumbaa. Yeah, right. that's gonna be. When amazing. does it come out again? Next, next 2019, year? March. Sometime. Next year? No, I think March. it's in the summer. Summer, okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, summer blockbuster. Yeah, y'all, of course. Uh, did any of y'all see Lion King in the theater? I, as a child, no. I actually saw it. VHS. But I, was like, I don't oh. remember. I probably did. Yeah, you, you're right. I probably did. Shit. Yeah, my parents always took me to movies, but I don't cousin. remember them. Shout out Dre, shout out Sean. Sorry, that was my cousin, my cousin brothers. You said you you shouted them out like they were outside, like they were like 
Outside Y'all niggas right here, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but like, in the other room or some shit. I think it's gonna be amazing. Aladdin, love it. You know, street yeah. rat, riff rap. <laughs> I don't buy that. <laughs> you know, on a street rat. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> street rat. Yo, and all your the fleas food. will mourn you. That's some cold shit to say to somebody. Some wild man. shit. Or the nigga walking down the street. Yeah, sugar dates. Now. Sugar and, dates. And the white man blinking like, oh shit. He <laughs> meant it too, bro. He and he said it going away. And he he timed nah. the, he timed the gate closed perfectly in his face. <laughs> Like, good grief. Hey, Word. I would have ended it all, but like, I'm out of here, monkey, man. Word. Yeah. Quick answer, Dramatic. Yes. Was Return of Jafar a great sequel, yes or no? No. Return of Jafar. Disney yes. does not that's do my, sequels well. I like the Return of Jafar. That's Lion King shit. 2 and a half was <laughs> decent. That's my answer. Yo, don't tell real Lion King 2 fans that shit, because they will fuck you up. I said it was decent. <laughs> that I, was I, good. I, love it. I was entertained by Lion King 2. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Lion King two fans. Like, this is the sequels. You know, it's kind of. I don't. I don't ask much of movies, dog. Like, at the end of the day, at the end of it, was I entertained? Yes or no? That's a simple question. But, and yes, I was entertained by that movie. Yeah, you know that's true because if you go back and watch some of the old movies you enjoyed as a kid, you would say this shit is stupid, it's, it's trash. <laughs> but mm-hmm. it's my favorite of mm-hmm. movie. Three ever. Ninjas is but, still amazing. Oh yeah, but, sorry. There's always that one gem. They did a they did a sequel to Mary Poppins. Oh, it's a sequel. And I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, it's oh, I thought it was a remake. It's like Mary Poppins Returns, but oh, I thought it was a remake. Okay. At this point, we talk about movies that niggas don't care about me talking about. Like Nanny McPhee. Shout out Nanny McPhee. No, nah, Mary Poppins was amazing. <laughs> Favorite Disney movie, dog. That's me though. Oh, okay. I enjoy Mary Poppins. Interesting. Mary Poppins is fucking good. Interesting. Movie. Yeah, man. Okay. My favorite part was when that nigga um was drawing. In the sidewalk, and, yes. just jumped and they jumped the into the painting. Yeah, I was just like, "Damn, I want to do this. Yep. I want to draw some shit." Yo, these niggas was on acid back then. Mm-hmm. That was some acid. Yeah, shit. acid shrew. The chimney sweep, nigga. Fumes. Yo, All step day. in time. Step in time. <laughs> step in time. Step in time. Step in time. <laughs> step in time. I'm the little left in the line. Okay, I'm <laughs> step in time. Did you yeah. just watch the movie? <laughs> no, nah, I actually haven't watched that movie in years, <laughs> but I love that <laughs> shit. That's hilarious. Yo, that was... A, uh. I love to laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, look, we're gonna, don't, we're don't gonna, get me started. We're going to come out with a DVD serenading where, all you niggas where I've seen Black redoes every Disney movie Feed ever. Even Aristocrats. <laughs> Top in. <laughs> Yo, I used to watch. I don't know, man. I love fucking Mary Poppins. That shit hard. And Julie Andrews was so fine, bro. She was. She was a good-looking white Andrews woman. Was a mm-hmm. Beautiful one is. She's still alive, right? Is it's a shame we don't know. She's still bad though. <laughs> she's still bad age. though. Yeah, you seen her in Princess Diaries? I was like, what's that's up, a, Grandma? <laughs> that's a very neutral like statement because it can stick whether she's alive or dead. <laughs> like she was bad. That she was. was her. That was Julie Andrews, man. Yo, Sound of Music, fine. Mm. Oh, yo, Sound of Music was like a test to be in my family. If you <laughs> haven't watched that movie, <laughs> like that was a part of the entry exam. <laughs> Yeah, we want Sound of Music to that tape broke, bro. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I am 16 going on 17. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Talk Big about up. a TPSG. G- Disney-ass tape. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes. we got to harmonize that shit if we talk about musicals. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know that I've never seen. TPSG. Wildest Tangent. Tangent. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you need to hire us, Disney. Hire hey, us if, Disney. if Disney hired us right now, we I would never do- say a cuss word ever again. <laughs> <laughs> ever in my life. Ever in my life. I wouldn't even say crap. Because they clone you. <laughs> what? <laughs> clone? What's that? <laughs> but oh, speak. Hey, dramatic. Say fuck. Head explodes. Nigga, next start sparking. Wait, are you a robot or a clone? Some plot hole. But uh, y'all niggas wild. Y'all niggas wild. Wow. Hey, if you're still listening at this point, I appreciate you. Hey, we love love y'all. Hey, shout out to my dog, DeAndre. For Yo, real. Because I know you out here listening to this Yo. shit on your, on your way to Pahokee. For real. <laughs> hey. <laughs> on your way. Nigga. 
in the swamp. <laughs> word. Shout out Arkansas. Shout out Arkansas fam. For real. Word, word. Shout, shout out. out. Yo, shout out to our, our, all our... All our listeners out word, there. Word. We love you. For real. Word. Shout out From to the, the captain. Yeah. Shout out to... To Frano, shout out to who? who station. Who? Say station. Yo, we, we haven't done this in a Yo, while. Yo, shout out to the station. Shout, shout out to the Bougie Group, Bougie Lituation. Mm. Shout, shout out to no Invite, though. No shout out CSA, uh, all Fuji. the CSA, Massive Worldwide. Word. Shout, shout out FIU. Yo, shout shout out Rum Legion. Oh, yeah, Rum Legion. Shout, shout out, Rum shout out, Rum. out That's who started off. This is my nigga right here. He started this shit. Shout out Rum Legion. Little no fact. Shout out my dog, DJ Jumby. Made the first group. Blink the Link, Island 360, LL Cool Blaze. What up? Yes. Good vibes. Everything. <laughs> Every Wednesday. My nigga Flagger Zulu started his group shit. Nobody acknowledges him. You know, you made the Rumley. Shout That's out Rotten. Shout out Kadeem. Yeah, shout out. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Kadeem. by example. Bless it. Yo, bless it. Yo, hold on, hold on. Bless it, Earth Strong. Oh, yes. Yes. To Jumby. DJ Jumby. Yes. DJ Savi. Yes. DJ. <laughs> Kadeem ain't no DJ. <laughs> but Rotten, hey, shout out. Shout out Rotten Clothing. Apparel. Yeah. Where ch- shout out Chelsea, shout yo shout out Chelmo. It's your birthday. Chelmo. What up? Yeah, yeah. It's no. actually your birthday today, Chelmo. On what up? It's crazy. Yeah, on the dot bless it. Today, today, today on the BBC. On the BBC. <laughs> anyway, and that was another one of your favorite motherfucking episodes <laughs> of TPSG. Brought to you by the, the BBC. BBC. Really, really, really. Black, <laughs> big. Oh yeah, and before we go, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh God! <laughs> Have mercy! Have mercy! Children, you Cut nasty it. motherfuckers! <laughs> black big Cut children, it. what is wrong with you? Big black. <laughs> <laughs> black big chandelier. All right, put the shovel down. Put the black shovel big. down. <laughs> put the shovel down for both of you. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? Next step is jumping in. Okay. Black pig chicken. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. What's funny? You're saying black big instead of big black. Yeah, that's what's bothering me. That's just bothering me. That's what makes it funny. I know. Right? But before we go to other tell you, shout out David. You know. Oh, Yo, what? shout out Mr. Boomaye, man. Right shout after. Shout out Mr. Boomaye. Right after. On his Sasuke. Yo, talk yeah. about his Sasuke flow. <laughs> oh, I know Sasuke Uchi. Out there getting in light and shit. Going to the put you on. Oh, just seeing names and Googling shit. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out you anime niggas <laughs> and niggerettes. <laughs> niggerettes. <laughs> but that sounds like some shit hey, you put your out, hair up in. Shout out Black Thought with that fire ass. That EP? That fire ass EP. That, that shit was fire as fuck. Mm. Mm. If you've <laughs> never heard rap before, Streams listen to that. Volume 2. If you, sorry, if you've never heard hip hop, I apologize. Good. Produced by that nigga Salon be Ren. hipping and the hopping and you don't motherfucking stopping. Word. I'm checking the sundial. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Looking think, at the rollie. I think. I think Hookah just gonna fade us out and that's something we don't know. Probably. Gonna make that Word. But if he does the episode, out, probably ended five minutes. If he does fade us out, it's dramatic. dramatic. Word. Hey, shouts out to all my niggas out there in these streets. You feel Word. me? And by streets, I mean in your cubicles, working really hard. Bob. <laughs> Paper cuts be killing niggas. And we go outro like this, and that is. It's your boy, I seen Black, aka Black Dynamite, aka Wade Bixby, aka Holy Baka Roaches, aka mm-hmm. you could always bet on Black, mm-hmm. aka I know I forgot at least a few of my AKAs, and also and always mm-hmm. Swiss Army nigga, 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 Swiss Army nigga. This is that turned into a Negro spiritual. It it did, and this is Flaca Zulu, aka Pablo Escovich, aka Sir Black Stallion the Third, aka No More aka. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. Stop the violence, bro. Too much violence in the streets. AKA nigga Yo, we need a soundboard, nigga. AKA, <laughs> no, we I feel like we'd get on our listeners' nerves with a soundboard. We'd, oh, they would love it. We'd abuse that shit. No. No, nah, they would love it. We don't, no. No. no I, already. Who can we have to put regulations on it? <laughs> Wait, like, our, honestly. Our pretend soundboards are already too much. Fa- it is. Father Black yeah. Stallion over here trying to. Try, try to be level-headed, but fuck that, nigga. We about to... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
tune, 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 tune. <laughs> and this has been yo niggas dramatic. <laughs> and <I'm, laughs> give, oh, you ain't give them a, yourself, nigga. Give them uh, a boinker, boinker. In the fidget study. Yo, room. if y'all listening to a 